Today's topic is five ways social media can ruin your progression as an artist. Way number one, procrastination. It's probably the most obvious, but it still needs to be said. When you're on social media, you can spend countless hours wasting time and doing nothing. This in no way helps you progress your art. Sure, you get plenty of reference, but the majority of the time is just being wasted and you've spent yet another day and countless hours of doing absolutely nothing. Way number two, social media at times can be too overwhelming. Have you ever gone online to look at something and then you find yourself looking at something else and then you find yourself looking at yet another thing? Uh, there are a lot of great artists online, a lot of professional artists that post magnificent work. But if you spend all of your time looking at it, it can be so overwhelming that you may not know where to start. Way number three, comparison or imposter syndrome. Let's face it, comparing yourself to others is necessary in order to get better. But if you do this too often, this can lead to anxiety, low self-esteem, and self-doubt. Don't be so unfairly critical of yourself that you ultimately stop progressing. As Ethan Baker says, in order to do professional work, you must see professional work. So do this in moderation and don't be so hard on yourself. Way number four, you can become a like junkie. Aside from procrastination, this may be one of the most insidious side effects of social media. This too can hinder your artistic improvement by doing work strictly for likes and not really focusing on the things that'll make you better artistically. If you're too busy looking at your device or staring at your phone to see who's actually liked or shared your work, chances are you're not putting in the time necessary in order to improve your artistic skills. All of that time wasted staring at your device, seeing who may like it or who may share it, could be time utilized to actually practice and focus on your next piece. Way number five. Moving too fast for your own good. Don't get me wrong. If you're looking to work in a production environment, speed is a tangible asset that you need to have. However, great artwork takes time to produce. And again, this is strictly for beginners that are looking to improve on their artwork or their artistic skills. I've even noticed this with myself. Sometimes when I'm trying to get a piece out to feed the social media monster, I don't actually do as many takes as I would if I were doing the same piece for a client. I don't do as many passes on the artwork. I'll probably go with my first idea as opposed to going over it multiple times and really trying to develop the character. And this is especially important for character designers because you want to go through as many iterations as you possibly can. But if you're too busy trying to get post out just so you can have an update on your social media feed, then this actually is working against you as a designer and a developer of character. Pro tip, instead of just rushing your content, why not just show the progression of a larger piece? Sometimes for myself, I'll just show sketches as opposed to quick renderings. Uh, a lot of the work that I had on my previous social media account before I erased probably two or 300 images was really focused on just getting artwork out there or doing things just to get a like. But what I've noticed professional artists doing, especially if they were working on larger projects, they would just show incremental updates on the actual piece that they're focused on. This way they can really put the time in necessary to develop the piece, to put everything that's necessary to go into it, as opposed to just throwing it out there just to get a like or a share. So this is something that I would advise that you try to do as well if you're trying to improve your artwork as well as have a social media presence. This way you can stay active on social media and make Uncle Gary proud. Anyway, these are five things that I've observed. You may or may not agree. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments. Also, if you're looking to level up your skills, click on the link in my description and you can get a two month free subscription to Skillshare. Also, I'll be posting more time-lapse videos as well as live streaming some of my drawing processes as well as streaming the process of how I put together illustrated books. Thanks for checking out my video. Until next time, peace.